Well, guys, here it is. Uh, the Project TTR-125 is back over at my place. The bike, uh, my nephew had the bike. He got it from me. And it always ran good. And it started smoking. I don't know if I something broke inside, maybe a ring, ring, oil ring maybe, or the valves. But it started smoking. He rode it that way. I told him just to ride it. And uh, he rode it for a few months, and then the other day he rode it, and he was going down the road. He said it started squealing, and the motor locked up on him. So it's back in here. We're going to tear down the motor and see what's wrong with it. I'm thinking maybe the cam chain broke. Or the piston itself just seized up. But the way it is, I just, I kind of think it's something to do with the cam. It's locked up tight. It rolled over a little bit and then it just stopped. But we'll tear it down and find out. It's actually melting the piston. I don't want that to drop into the motor. Push this thing off. So now I got a couple, I got a bolt pulling through it, and this is big enough to where that, to where the uh, wrist pin pin will slide through it and slide through this bolt, and I can pull it out. I started to make sure it's going to work, and it's already started moving. But this thing is tight, and I'm hoping. Uh, the rod isn't totally trash. Maybe I can just clean it up, put it back together like I did before. But we'll get this out of here and see how it looks and see if we can get it cleaned up. I got parts on order, so we got to wait for them to get here. This thing is... It's coming, but not very easy. off Let's see if we can put another spacer in here and move it out further or just cut the wrist pin off and keep pulling okay so we got the wrist pin out of the motor <clears throat> and this one she definitely took a beating as you can see all the gouging in the a pour I used yesterday it actually pushed on this and ovaled it and split it. But I got it out with the old nut and bolt and a socket to fit over it like you've seen and just kept going back and forth and <clears throat> I got it to work its way out. But instead of the big bore kit this time when I ordered the rebuild kit I'm going to do the standard bore just to put a little bit less stress on this. Because I'm pretty sure this will be fine once I clean it up. But we're going to do that. And uh, I'm going to do some porting on the head. And possibly get a bigger cam for it. I mean, I'll gain a little bit by doing that. But maybe with the bigger cam later on in the exhaust, this bike will be getting... Uh, it'll, I'll notice a difference. Or he'll notice a difference. And this carburetor. Uh, we're getting rid of this junk one. And we're getting another one which will be here in a few days, and I'll show you what it is then. It's got a manual choke on the side, does away with this, and just, from what I've read, they're a little bit better, get a little more power out of it. So, now, some saps out. I had the puller in here yesterday, and I had dropped a bolt, or not a bolt, but a nut, down there, and we got to see if we can get it out of there. Somewhere down there there's a nut. So, so if you're ever working on <clears throat> uh, any area up here where this is open, it's a good idea to put rags in, rags in here. Just keep stuff from falling in. I usually do. This time I didn't. I was in a hurry. And it kind of bit me in the butt. But I dropped the nut down there. And luckily, I got a magnet on a stick right here. 
is the nut off the pole it fell straight down into there and then kind of sticked it down and I got lucky here I can pull it right out which if that was left down there obviously the motor would just it'd lock up in there somewhere so it's always good practice cover this up with the rags so nothing gets in there along with dirt and everything else like you see on this one just do what I don't do and you'll do good Okay, we got the intake and exhaust valve out. Uh, I think the source of my oil is the valve seals here on the intake side. You can see it's all coated up in there. But we're going to be uh, porting and polishing this head using like a little uh, tungsten bit or something, I think it is, for the Dremel. And I was just playing with it, and it takes off a lot of meat real quick. But we're going to open this port right up make it nice and big clean up around all these defects and all the these old casting marks clean that up make it nice and smooth and the new kit's going to come with new valve seals and I almost think I should get new valves probably not going to do guides but uh we'll just clean this head up and pour it out some and with the better carburetor and the exhaust in the future and maybe even the cam, it should make a little bit more power. Having it running will just be a plus by itself. Alright, so uh, yeah, we got the valves out, started porting it. Here's what I got, how far I got so far tonight. Uh, obviously, it's super rough. I got to take my Dremel tool and clean up all these ed edges and polish the exhaust side. The intake side I started on, started taking some material off. I broke the bit on my Dremel so it's going to have to wait. But you can see I'm taking off quite a bit. I just got to continue to take a little more off and smooth it all out. But this exhaust one is really, this thing really opened up. It's just got a lot of more, just got more material to take off and uh, clean it up to do. While I wait for parts to get here in the mail. And I'm thinking I'm going to reseat these valves. I haven't hit the seats, but probably not a bad idea just to do it with all the carbon on them. So stay tuned and watch out for the new videos.